In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, creating an XY chart or a scatter chart, as it's sometimes called. And it simply shows the relationship between uh, an X value and a Y value. So my X values are here in column A, and my Y values are here in column B. And we're going to just plot those points on a chart and see what it looks like. So uh, let's select our data, include the headings because uh, it'll help with uh, some other things later on, like a um, you know a legend or title. Uh, and let's go to the Insert tab. And uh, under Charts here, um, this last option or next to last option is Scatter Chart, and it will do a live preview for you and we probably just want the first one okay so click on the first one uh, just make sure you know what you're doing if you pick one of these other choices so we'll do that and this is what our chart looks like and it is pl plotted 0 0 10 percent and 2.0 20 percent and 3.5 and so on okay so you may be looking for relationship between these uh, points here and it you know kind of looks like they form a line and uh, Excel has an option that it will allow you to um, add a trend line and that's on our add chart elements here um, and it's also over here so you can do it either way and if I click on the arrow next to trend line here uh, I can put in a linear trend line and it will display a dotted line there that you know kind of approximates where the points are uh, let's click on more options here, and um, we've got some choices here. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be kind of a direct straight line correlation, uh, but there are some other choices here for drawing your line. Uh, you do have an option down here that you can display the equation of that line on the chart. Let's go ahead and pick that one. And this is just an ordinary text box. It's, it's superimposed on the chart and um, you can go ahead and format this the way you'd format any text. So I go to the Home tab here um, and let's say I want to make that a color that stands out a little more. So I make it blue and I make it bold and I make it uh, a little bit bigger than it is too. So it's easier to see. And so you can put that any place you want to. Now I usually like to put these on a separate worksheet that's on the Design tab here and if you click on Move Chart you can move it to a new sheet and click on OK and then you can go in here and do any formatting you want. You can change the title, you know, once you move it to a new sheet like this the numbers don't seem quite so big and readable anymore so you might want to go here and make those a little bigger and do the same thing down here and you can do any additional formatting that you want to do with them as well but if you put it on a separate sheet like this, if you go to your file tab and choose print, it'll print out on a sheet all by itself and it'll automatically be in landscape orientation. And you know if you want to make any changes in it, you've got all the options here under whoops, under page setup. And you can go in here and change the orientation, you can change the paper size, you can change the scaling. Uh, you can change the margins, you can center it on the page, um, you can do a header or footer, and uh, you have some options here uh, to save a little bit of ink. And uh, we'll just leave everything the way it is. Click on OK, uh, and now it's ready to print. So if you put it on a separate sheet like that, you get kind of a nice looking chart. So if the chart is, you know, really what you're interested in, uh, that's probably a good way to do it. Put it on a separate sheet so you can print it separately. And that's about it for uh, doing a scatter chart in Excel.